December 2020. For you and your person, what's going on here? What's going on for Leo and their person for the rest of this month of December 2020? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. All right, what do we have for Leo for the month of December for their person? We'll take it. All right, we'll take them both. Finances and career. Calling in your soulmate. All right. Calling in your soulmate, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, Leo. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together and it is safe for you to live. Okay. Hmm. What's going on with your person? Five of Cups, the Hermit. All right. In the recent past, they've been kind of going inside. Um, they're done grieving. They're done grieving. But they are, in the recent past, they've gone inside or, they're, or maybe they're a Virgo. Um, or you perceive them as the Hermit, not looking your way not looking your way looking away from you so like they have either not been noticing you in the recent past or they they've been moving away okay they see you as their soulmate right now okay and you do see them as that possibility so maybe they left something to move into a relationship with you um, maybe you guys were in separation and they're, they want to come back in right now they want to come back in, and you see that as a possibility. Temperance. Um, wow. So they want to balance out their energy. They want to take put an end to what is not balanced in their life and start from scratch with you. All right. Let's see what your energy is like. They want to start from scratch with you. For sure. This has been hard for you. Um, this has been hard for you in the past. Um, you've moved away from them in the past too. I think you guys were in separation and you're coming back together. Um, for some of you, you were married and you're and you, or you've been like talking about marriage because you're seeing them as somebody you're married to, or you talked about marriage. rough road for this person they do see you as like somebody very spiritual someone they can trust someone they can be with for some of you you actually were married to this person or somebody you were gonna get married to or be married to um and they want to end the, the they weren't giving you for whatever reason they were going inside they were isolating themselves from you Maybe they were grieving a previous relationship or grieving, um, maybe, hmm, let's get a little bit better with this. It's like, I feel like right now you've kind of lost your passion for this person. I feel like when you see them, you realize that maybe like you want it they, they seemed like somebody that you would be married to or that you would get married to but you realize it's just not safe for you to live let's go future energy because i'm not quite sure where we're going with this but they see you as really strong they really see you as a very very strong person in the recent past they weren't giving you what you needed they weren't even looking towards you they were doing their own work or they were doing their own they weren't able to like you guys weren't together you guys were doing your own work 
And now they do, they kind of look towards you as the one, as their soulmate. Um, and you see them as that possibility too, in some ways. And yet, however you thought, like, like whatever happily ever after vision you had when it came to this person, um, it changes. Like, as a matter of fact, I feel like maybe for some of you, you can't really see that this is the happily ever after relationship. Like that this, this, you can be happy with this person. That it is safe for you to love with them. Okay. Like they were going through something before, but they're coming out of it. And now they, they're ready to balance out their energy and end what wasn't serving the relationship. Um, Mm. yeah I do think they want to be with you now um, I feel like you feel like you lost them um, and I think that they want you back I think that they're not sure if they can have you back um, you're very mysterious to them right now um, you definitely see them as somebody who you who you lost that you let go of so they made you feel left out in the cold big time Leo I don't think you liked it it kind of made you lose your, your uh, mojo, you know? Um, and now I feel like the cards are saying it's safe for you to love this person. Um, they're ready now if that's what you want, you know? I don't think you're sure. I think you're confused. They kind of like broke down your fan, like... Interesting, this comes out twice and it kind of wants to show up. Yeah, you kind of lost your mojo either in general or towards them. Like, they see you as looking at them, kind of willing to talk to them, willing to accept their apology or, you know, just having a discussion about what's going on. Yeah, you're waiting to see what comes in. You know, you're waiting. Yeah. You're, you're willing to, to see what they have to say. You're waiting for, for a spirit to bring them in if they're going to come in. They do see you as very strong. I just feel like, I feel like when it comes to them, you're like, they were kind of going through their own thing and going inside for so long in the past that this turnaround where they realize you're the one and they start moving towards you, they really have been out of balance. And so it just really threw you off. It kind of turned you off you thought they were somebody that could build with you um and they never did it they they looked away they never did it um and now they want you back they want they want you back for some of you i actually feel like you left one person and you're calling in a new person you lost your mojo for one person and a new one's coming in and you're just waiting for it to come in yeah um, and this new person is much, much better. Like you're letting go of the loss of somebody and, um, calling in somebody else. So for some of you, there really is a new energy coming in. That's very different from this energy and you've let it go for others of you. It's being rekindled. Um, but in general, Leo, you're like kind of weary about the whole thing, you know? Um, Just waiting, you know, I, I don't know. Let's see, what's the destiny of this whole deal? Letting go of pushing it, um, being, yeah. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, you move into a place of being single. You lose your mojo for this person. I feel like a new person comes in. For a lot of you, it's the end of one thing. Um, and Leo, I'm getting to that you're, You've got your heart up when it comes to this person. Um, you have a lot of options. This person broke your heart. This person made you super apathetic when it comes to love. It was just stuck love I'm getting. Um, I feel like you have a lot of options. Um, and you're ready to, to, be, to work with somebody, you know, to really have one of those relationships where you guys can work together. Because um, this, this has been like one of those... What I'm really getting, the message I'm getting for you, Leo, is that it's like you're moving, this person just, 
they had it, right? They had something you wanted, but they, it just took them so long. They're, they're definitely a soulmate. You definitely, you, this definitely wasn't a fling per se, or you're, you didn't see them that way. Um, I don't think they saw you this way. I think they see you as a soulmate. Um, but they just didn't like open up their heart to, to you. They're working on their own issues. And there's really just a collapse of their whole reality. As, as you lose your interest in them, they want you back, right? Um, so there is like, there's a possibility of reconciliation, but I think I'm getting like a story where you work on your career, you work on your mission, you move into this powerful independent energy and you move out of any kind of expectation of love and you're definitely moving out of any kind of love that gets stuck. I think you're done being stuck in a like a loveless or a, not even a loveless situation, but a situation that doesn't move. Um, you're sick of guarding, guarding your heart. You're sick of pushing the relationship into moving. You just start to move inside and work on yourself and work on your career and work on your finances. And that's probably why this person's coming back in. You know, I do think that this person broke your heart. So I don't think it's like, I think you're patiently waiting for the right energy to come in. If this person completely, you know, takes a 180, I think you, you would be willing to, to hear them out is what I'm getting. But more or less, like, you're done. Like, this person, this, this broke your heart. This wore you out. You have a lot of options at this point, Leo, because you're moving. Yeah, they broke your heart, um, but... It was so stale anyway. The energy was so stale. You really had to push it to make it um, do anything. And I think you're ready to manifest somebody that work, works with you. You don't have to push anything. It's harmonious. They work alongside of you. In the meantime, you, you know, work within yourself to create the life that you want to create on your own. You start to make, you start to like really move into your career. You start to make more money. I mean, really, really. Um, abundant nature and they start to see you as the empress you move into this like nine of coins energy this nine of cups energy the nine of wands it's just all this like you become a almost like see you as a teacher teaching something teaching you have a lot of options to work maybe you're teaching um you know, how to become your own, like to love yourself, to move inside your own energy and not force love to happen when it's not happening. It's just exhausting. And there's some kind of teaching. People are learning from you about those lessons and to go inside and be your own creator of your own reality. I, I do think abundance is coming, stability is coming, or you're creating the stability, you're releasing the heartbreak, you're releasing stuck energy, apathetic love. You have a lot of options in love, but you're looking for someone who's going to work with you, Leo. Work with you to build um, a foundation that and that that's balanced and equal, equal give and take, you know? Yeah, so you're moving into really that self-love, and because of that, you're creating a soul tribe that really aligns, that reflects harmony back at you, Leo. That might be part of your work. Um, there's going to be like a large group of people that support the work that you're doing. Yeah. If this person's really starting, to, you're going to be very, very desirable and this person's going to want you back. Okay. They're desiring you hands down, but in general, I think you're on fire. Like you lost your fire for this person, but you didn't lose your fire. As, as a matter of fact, it comes back in a very, very powerful way. I mean, you move into your core energy, um, your core truth. You really move into your core life mission. Um, yeah, I feel like you escaped this this energy that this person had. This like stuck energy. As a matter of fact, this is a karmic cycle that's coming to a close. Um, yeah, increase. You're moving out of the void and into abundance with this person. This person had. Um, it's not even like this person had some other it stuff that had nothing to do with you. 
Um, yeah, what kind of stuff? What was going on? Let's see if we can get. What was going on with that person, Leo? That there was maybe another lover that they were trying to get over. Um, what else was going on? <coughs> Interesting. They, why are those two cards here? Maybe they came out of, yeah, okay. There was somebody else in their past that they, they, they um, either married to or they didn't get over. Um, there was somebody else or it was you Huh. They just, they were clinging to something in the past. Either it was unforgiveness towards you or some kind of issue with you. But for a lot of you, like, they, they were stuck on somebody else or something else from the past. They were married to them. And they thought this other person was their soulmate. Um, and as you walk away and just say, forget it they change their mind and they put the energy onto you like you're their soulmate this person like yeah this person had to release yeah they were compare oh my god this person was comparing you to their old person and they had to release this old person leo and that was painful for you you saw potential with them yeah for some of you maybe they're married i don't know i'm not getting that strongly though i'm getting more like this person was doing their own healing they were grieving they um they just weren't quite ready you know for that full commitment and the um and you just kind of lost your patience and lost your, you know, you thought this person could be the one, but they just took so long. You kind of lost interest. And then they actually come around. Um, but this taught you, like this taught you a pattern that you're no longer going to repeat. Is like you maybe were pushing this person or pushing this situation to happen and this person had to go through their healing. So not like getting super... Um, I feel like this person had a major broken heart. So they might have broken your heart, but I'm getting more that they had a major broken heart and they were really stuck in the pattern of like not, they were unable to release the past person. So they weren't really uh, balanced enough to have this relationship with you. But then they start to really see you as the one, like in the future, they're gonna come back because they see you as like Empress energy, right? Um, and you're willing to wait. You move into this place of waiting, but I also see you're working on your career. You're working on yourself, self-love. And the biggest lesson I think, feel like you're getting out of this, Leo, is like, I'm not going to push anybody or anything. I'm just going to wait for that divine love to come in for me. Yeah, you move into a higher state of awareness. Um, and you're okay with being alone and, and moving into your inner light. Mm-hmm. A lot of you Leos that, that I'm reading for, I'm just getting a, like a really strong, moral, aware place that you guys are in. Like you make this realization of like, I'm not pushing this into happening. I'm going to go with the flow. Um, yeah, you're moving into a state of totality. You're, you're observing everything as you. You're learning the lesson that the external is showing you, Leo. There's a lot of awareness in the in the Leos that are watching this. And you're working on your soul mission, your soul path. You're working on your own abundance. And you're not wasting your energy. You have a lot of options, Leo. A lot of options. And this person's just fine. They're not, like, it's not like, it's just struggle to be with somebody who's not letting go of somebody else, right? Like, how do you start something and build something with them? You can't. 
So um, you kind of lose your interest, okay? And, and the, the fire kind of starts to go out and they start to, like you start working on yourself, you're moving into your own power, your own abundance, which I see you doing in this read. And then they start, you know, of course, wanting to come back and they want to call you back in. They want to call you back. They want to call you back in. It is safe for you to love, and it's especially a safe for you to love when you love yourself. It doesn't matter who's coming in, you know? This person was here to teach you a lesson, to teach you to let go of the fight, let go of the push, and um, let it all come in for you. Um, it's all you anyway. You're, it's it's all a you, so you can call it in. You can call in your soulmate. They don't have to call you in. You call them in just by calling yourself in, your own self-loving. Um, yeah. I think that you guys are going to start communicating again in a, in a more um, productive way. Mm -hmm. Let's see what their energy is. They do hold on to the past things, but they do want interesting. So this person doesn't um, isn't growing in the way that you are quite yet. I'm seeing in the future. Um, yeah. Okay. So this person, so for some of you, this person might be a Taurus, Leo. For some of you. For some of you, it's the other way around, and they see that you were clinging to the past, and so they were stuck. So, um, and they're holding on to you, if that makes sense. Um, like, basically what I'm trying to say is this this side could be you, Leo, as well. I'll just switch it around, because I'm getting that energy. I just felt like saying that, like, for some of you, like, this person that you're dealing with, they hold on to things. So when they switch that energy over to you, they might get a little bit too much holding on to you and wanting to own you and marry you and just switch over that energy right from that one person to the next. Okay. So they were married to the one person. Now they want to be married to you. And there's no, like they aren't going through this transformation and realization of who they truly are. Um, they compare, it's almost like they need to have somebody in their life for their own balancing. Um, and it's like a sense of owning. And so it's not feeling completely like as healthy as you. And I do feel like that you're so comfortable at this point going with the flow. Um, you're, I feel like you're really um, sensitive in and you're getting the bigger picture of what's going on. So I'm actually getting that if when this person comes back to you, um, which it looks like they are, you're going to get the sense. <laughs> um, you got the love. Codependency bear. Yeah. Oh my God. That's so crazy. You're going to get the sense that this person is too needy and they're going to move from one attachment to another, which is you. And I'm not sure if you're going to want it because you're releasing personally this i mean for you leo this relationship is teaching you to not push anything but allow harmony to come within and you're going to start to see when this person moves their energy from their past person to you is they're going to want to own you um they're going to be codependent um and they're going to like make like the void of course moon missing i'm seeing on their side is they're going to like take you to fill their own void so this loss that they have, it's like it was a loss of a void within themselves. They didn't fill within themselves, but they did teach you to stop pushing things. And I think a bigger lesson that you learned is if you do push yourself into a relationship with a specific person, they might not be the right one for you. But when you allow spirit to bring you your person, it will move in a harmonious way. And I feel like you're going to wait. They're going to come back in. But I also think you're going to see that they might be a little bit too needy and codependent for you or not in the right energy. That you don't want to be there to fill their void, okay? So I do think you're going to work on your self-love, 
on your finances and I think you're going to really become super abundant. You're going to have a lot of options. I even see a new love coming in for some of you and not this person. Let's get a couple of advice cards for Leo. Seek the lesson. I mean, it's the lesson that, you know, gave you the blessing of like moving inside and loving yourself, filling your own voids. And this person didn't do that. So now they're using you to fill the void, right? Mm, embrace the masculine. Wash away your burdens. Yeah. Heed your dreams. Yeah. I do think you're gonna you're following your dreams. I think you're washing away your burdens. And really what's a burden to you is pushing something to happen that's not quite in alignment to happen yet and that's the the less the lesson once you move into the blessing of that lesson um, i feel like you embrace embracing the masculine is like i mean you were kind of like doing that distorted masculine thing where you were trying to make it happen and pushing it i feel like embracing the masculine is like embracing the spirit to bring in holding space for spirit to bring in what is truly yours and harmonizing the masculine and feminine energies within so that there is no filling any kind of voids, wasting any time and really holding on to the past is not going to serve anybody. Right. And so they're holding on to, to the past. You're kind of maybe pushing this to holding on to trying to make this happen and you just let it go. And I do see you calling in. Well, like, I think that they're, they're going to come back. I don't know. It's a wild card. You know, I don't really know if you're going to want them. You're going to communicate for sure. And I think you're going to be really totally honest with them. You're going to tell them what you see. Um, tell them what you see. And yeah, I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. Exactly. You're gaining a lot of wisdom and insight when it comes to this relationship, Leo. Yeah, flames of wisdom. All it keeps saying is wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. I am open to all life's wisdom and share it with gratitude. Yeah, this taught you, you don't push to get what you want. And it like you, I feel like when they come back, you're going to look at them and be like, damn, I was pushing for this. This isn't even like once you start filling your own voids and following your path and I actually see you like getting abundance in your work and moving um moving into a state of fortune and actually emotional fulfillment a lot of energy is going to want to come towards you because you're moving into your totality so yeah leo um i think when this person comes back i honestly think they're going to lay it on like all the energy that they felt about their past person they're going to just move it right over to you and you're going to be their soulmate and their, their future and their future partner. And like you guys are meant to be together and they're going to do that whole spiel. And there's a little bit of a, an illusion to it because they haven't filled those voids within themselves. They want you to do it for them. It's codependency and you see beyond it. You see it right when it comes in. And again, it's going to confirm what you already knew is to like hold back from pushing and um, moving into and in doing your own self-love and your own um, working on your your own your finances, your career, all, everything else in life, yeah, and uh, loving yourself and yeah. So that's that. That was long. All right. Anyway, Leo, thank you so much for. Um, check it out my channel and listening to this read. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, like, share, and subscribe if you would like. And I do give readings. Information's in the description box. Um, and yeah, that's all I have, Leo. Take care.